The Preserve Sporting Club and Resort. A side note, no TJs were tattooed in the production of that show, uh, that package. Anyway, uh, here's the stats for the 12th. I know we are technically on the 13th, uh, so uh, it says today, but technically I know it, it, it was yesterday. We made it to 73 on Saturday. There we go, after starting from a low of 53. So we were warmer than average in both the morning and the later half of the day. The records will stay in the books for another year. And uh, our sunset time, I, it may be throwing you off a little bit. It's getting closer and closer to six o'clock and within the next week we should start to see that sunset at six. So we are looking at a couple of things. Sunday is going to be cooler and we are looking at showers that will be developing. We're going to start early Columbus Day with some leftover showers. There's an outside chance we could get a thunderstorm. They're more likely for central mass and points north. And then we get into the big chill next week. We're going to find more areas getting into widespread frost. And I'll show you the days that are more likely to uh, to have that. Right now uh, in Providence, it's night. Uh, no, obviously my graphic is doing something weird, but it happens. Uh, we do have temperatures that are ranging predominantly in the 40s. We do have some outliers on either end, though, like uh, the 37 in Taunton. We've got 39 in Killingly. We're in the 50s here in Providence. We're matching that in Newport and out to Block Island. Now our winds are coming in from the northwest where we have wind and a northwesterly wind tends to bring in dry air and cooler air right from the heart of Canada and that's the process that's going on right now. Our satellite and radar checking clear as high pressure is in control, but you don't have to look too far to the west to see our next weather maker and what it is. It's a series of areas of low pressure connected to a couple of fronts and that's going to take us through the next couple of days. I did want to point out if you wanted to take advantage of perhaps the gray skies. Gray skies tend to get color to pop on trees a little bit more, well, spectacularly. And if you wanted to find the peak, well, you can find it up in the greens. Uh, portions of the whites in New Hampshire have also just passed peak. Anyway, here at home, we're looking at clear skies taking us through the overnight. As we start tomorrow early on, we'll start with sunshine. Then we're going to be increasing clouds as we go through the day. Again, the bulk of any precipitation on Sunday is expected to be traveling right across uh, the central portion of Massachusetts out by Boston, but here at home, in fact, the closer to the coast you go, we're looking at holding off any precipitation until we get to the afternoon or evening hours. Now, Monday is going to start with clouds and also a 60% chance of some scattered showers. We're also going to take some time to move that whole front out of here, but when it does, we go clear again. And this is where we start to bring in the really chilly air and temperatures will be dropping to lows in the 30s for the remainder of the week. Highs are going to be struggling to top out in the 50s. So are we going to need the scraper? Yeah, possibly. As we look towards Friday into Saturday, we're looking at overnight lows that could dip into the freezing point. So if you don't know where your scraper is, uh, now would be the time to locate it, particularly if you are in an outlying area to a city. So um, if you're not in Warwick or Providence or Attleboro, you may need to know where your scraper is because uh, chances are you will be a little bit cooler and could indeed need the services of it. So for tonight, 42 degrees, clear, chilly, no question about it, 42 is expected for, as your overnight low for Sunday. We're expecting uh, temperatures that are going to be uh, topping out in the lower 60s, increasing clouds with a chance of a late shower. Winds will be moving in from the southeast and our extended forecast shows Columbus Day starting off with clouds and a shower before doing some partial clearing and then the clearing just keeps on going as we hit midweek. But yeah, some chilly overnight lows are ahead much cooler than average. The average high is actually 64. So really not a bad week ahead, but we have no. to get used to being a little colder. No doubt about it. It is sweater weather. Yes, it is. And scraper weather. Scraper weather too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Sure. All right, Ian, over to you.